Hi, this is Ephraim Geltman from JerusalemHealth.net. So uh, we we all want to be free, and uh, that means there's usually a, a kind of fantasy we have about being free versus um, a real version of being free. So a real version of being free is if we um, we're not compulsive about stupid behavior. And um, one kind of compulsive behavior we all have is just hating people for not being the way we like. So what can we do about this? We can, we, when, when, we, when we find ourselves really disliking someone, we can, we can try to understand uh, their, their motivations. So, uh, and if we, if we really understand their motivations, we could be like a parent who, who they have a naughty kid and they, they can laugh at their kid's naughtiness, right? They don't get, they don't get caught up in, 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 in criticizing the kid and getting upset about it. They say, hey, this is my kid, he's naughty. They understand, they, you know, he's being naughty because of X, Y, and Z. So one, uh, uh, but this, this uh, one, one, one example I thought of uh, from my own life, and uh, excuse me if it's a little too graphic, is um, I was just thinking, why am I kind of like angry at uh, at very attractive women a lot of times? <laughs> and it's <laughs> it's um, I was trying to think about what's the motivation of these women who dress like really um, immodestly in public to try to get the attention of of, of men. And um, so I thought about it deeply, and I thought, what's what's really going on with these women, single women who dress really risque, um, or not even really risque, just enough to really try to get men to look at them all the time? And um, I thought, what's what's you know what's going on with these women? Is that uh, is that deep down they want to they want to find their life partner and make babies, right? What's that what's that desire? Why does, a, why does a woman want a man's attention is because on some level she wants to be with him and, uh, and, 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 and create uh, a family. And this is like the most beautiful thing ever. And, uh, but, but, but society is so twisted now that um, you know people have, uh, people have sex all the time and it's not for the, it's not for, obviously not for creating babies. And um, the, 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 the seed of a man, the semen of a man, there's a lot of light there, there's a lot of energy. And, and the Kabbalah talks about how much energy is wasted when the seed's wasted. And so uh, on some deep subconscious level, these, um, a, 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 woman, a, woman, a woman who's immodest in public, she's, she's, uh, she wants the light of her man. Right, and she just can't. It's not lined up to kind of do do it the right way, and um, and so you know this is you know she's she's being being a little bit naughty. <laughs> you can see the feminists in the audience cringing here. It's being a little bit naughty, and um, but the but the impulse itself is really wonderful. The impulse itself to 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 to, to attract her her life partner to her and, and create a family. This is a wonderful thing. So, so every, every, everything that's uh, off the mark, it's it's um, it's just a, a silly version of something that deep down is really beautiful. So, so, so if we try to, if we try to step back from situations and understand the true motivations of of people that are annoying us, we'll be like we'll be like uh, like a loving parent. Now this, this this doesn't mean that we uh, that we're encouraging the conduct of people that are doing things that in our eyes aren't right. <clears throat> this doesn't mean that we're encouraging their conduct. Just like you know, what what does a good parent do with their naughty child? They they say no no you can't do that, but they don't lose their cool. They don't lose their temper. And um, Rob Bezenson, the, the 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 big breast love Rob from 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 uh, Tel Aviv. He's he's connected to someone I can't remember his name, but a a, a doctor that his uh, that his people go to. And this doctor was saying that when we when we get angry at someone, 
but we don't express it. We, we, we don't express it. We keep our cool. That, that, that anger goes inside it, it reverses and it goes inside of us and it, and it purifies our system. Uh, Torah Vav um, Lakuti Moran 6, number 6, Rabbi Nachman says that when, when, when someone insults us and we don't, we don't answer them back, it's a, very high, uh, it's a very high level. It's a very good thing. Um, so, so, so it's it's the new year in the in the Jewish calendar, and uh, Jewish or not, we're 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 all trying to go through the gate in our life, and uh, when we go through a true gate, it, it seals up behind us. We we're 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 going we're going forward, and we're leaving behind our old world, our old life, and and and, and the gate seals behind us. But to go through any new 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 boundary irreversibly, as they say, like to go forward without ever going back. Obviously, it's, it's going to take some pain. There's, 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 there's some pain involved in, 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 in breaking through new territory. So we should all, we should all encourage each other to, to do this. And however I can help any of you to do this, please let me know. I'm also, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking of which, I'm interviewing for, for students to model my, uh, to model my method. And um, I'll pay. I'll pay the right, the right, the right students that want to be an example of uh, of this method in action. Who are going to also improve the method. I also have. I also have live-in uh, capacity at my center for 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 a guy or two who wants to be involved with this project. And um, in general, there's a lot of exciting things going on. I just got back from uh, from Uman, the uh, the pilgrimage site in uh, for the breast love the breast lovers in uh, all over the world go there every Rosh Hashanah and uh, it's the it's the craziest it's the craziest deepest journey to go there and back and uh, you know we should we should all we should all be we should all merit like this journey where we just we just let go of what our past is that doesn't serve us anymore and and, and and like going through a gate, a real gate, the gate, the gate seals behind us, and, and we don't we don't go backwards anymore. We only go forwards. And uh, however I can help anyone do this, I'm very I'm very enthusiastic to. There's a story. Um, there's a story where, where someone goes to a great Rebbe, and he says uh, he says Rebbe, you you have you have so much spiritual power that you could just free everybody in the world from their from their suffering if you wanted to. Why don't you just do it? And the Rebbe said, no. He said, people don't want to be, they don't really want to go out from their suffering. They're just kind of stuck in their suffering. And the person said, Rebbe, come on. Like, I, I can't believe it. And the Rebbe said, look, I'll, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to confer the power on you. And, um, and uh, you can go around and, and, and free everybody. I'll give you the power to free everyone. So, so the guy says, all right, deal. And, and, and the Rebbe gives him the power and the guy goes around. And everyone he goes to has some excuse. One person says, "Oh, I'd, li I'd like to be, I'd like to free myself from my situation, but you know, I got to take care of my my you know, kid until he gets out of college, or, or this or that." Every everyone's got an excuse that seems good, but at the end of the day, they they're, they're stuck in their stuff, and so the guy gets frustrated. He finally goes to a pig, and he says to the pig, "He says, you know, Hazer pig, do you do you want to get free from what you're stuck in?" And the pig says. Uh, Says it, it, the pig says, "If I go to heaven, is there is there garbage up there?" The guy says, "No, there's no, there's no garbage. You don't need you don't need um, you don't need garbage up there. You don't need food. You live on light. You live on you live on divine light." And the pig says, "No, no, I, I'm I'm very happy in this garbage here." And um, I, I I had kind of a scary experience in Uman. I I I went to this. Uh, there's some important important student of uh, Rebbe Nachman in his in his Masorah, in his lineage. I have, to, I have to be reminded of his name, but he's got a kever, he's got a grave in a field in Uman, and we went there in the middle of the night. And something about being out there in this open fields at his grave, it, it, you know, in the middle of, middle of the night, you sort of can't get away from the the, the hype. And I was forced to just think about how, like, you know, we're all we're all going to the grave. And how creepy that is to like live this life with all this hoopla, with all this, uh, with all this razzmatazz. It makes us forget that you know, 
10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, we'll probably be six feet under our body. And you know, what's it all about? What is it all about? And, and, and not to get caught up in the, the, the distractions, right? Um, endless, endless distractions from, from realizing this, this fact that like life is fleeting and we, we have to, we all have to try to cut to exactly what we, what we want to cut to the most. And, uh, but we're all, we're all, we're all too stressed out to, um, we're all too stressed out to cut to what we want to cut to the most because we're, we're, we're too full of stresses to be able to focus. So, 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 so the largest part of my school and clinic is, is finding how to teach people to release their deepest stresses most directly and most permanently. So in Uman I had this, I had this realization about, um, I think maybe the greatest method of all is, is screaming. <laughs> But screaming is a little bit impractical for most people in daily life. So I was thinking, how can we, how can we, how can we make this work? And uh, what I'm going to teach is that uh, if, 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 if we practice opening our jaw as wide as possible, excuse the uh, embarrassing demonstration here, but uh, really stretch like a, like a big punk rocker, it. Uh, if we do this long enough, naturally, all these deep uh, emotions come up, and naturally, we want to make the sounds of, of releasing them. Ah, oh, now um, we can really do this anywhere. the The, the trick is um, the trick is uh, just like this. People think you're yawning, and uh, another little trick, of course, is. Um, you know, you have a book across your face here. No one's going to really notice you're, you're stretching and stretching everything out and releasing everything. And, uh, but the best of all, like Rabbi Nachman said, is to go to a field alone and really just scream and let it all out. If, uh, if, if you concentrate, I think you're going to realize what I realized, that like the most tension in all the body is stuck in the jaw. Why? Because it has to, the, 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 the mouth and the, the jaw has to do all with our emotional, mental state, the, the, the face we put on for the world, to please the world, and, 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 uh, and the anger we hold in. So, 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 and, and, and Rebbe Nachman talks a lot about the, the, the 70 screams. This, you know, it, it, some, some, things, some things are so deep. We have to make 70 screams. So, so a little homework assignment I'm going to give anybody who, who really wants to progress here is uh, to, um, to uh, do 70, 70 screams a day. It doesn't have to be out loud. It can just be into a pillow um, or, or into your hands. But, but, but stretching your jaw as wide as you can for as long as you can 70 times a day. It feels so incredible to kind of release, and um, and when we when we when we release all the stress, then we can start to think clearly. We can start to think clearly about how short life is, how we don't want to waste it. In uh, in, in Ayurvedic medicine, they classify that like there's three main states. One is where you're like stuck and lazy, and, and the other is where you're you're going after number one, you're trying to be the best, rajasic, stuck and lazy, lazy is called tamasic, just heavy and stuck. Then the third state is sattvic, where you're, you're peaceful, you're balanced, you're, 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 you're working on what you need to work on without getting distracted. That's obviously, that's obviously what we want to get to. Um, in, uh, like always, I need to ask everyone's forgiveness here about, about playing the authority role, um, you know, pretending this doctorly role. We're, we're, we're all in this together. It's just I notice um, people from the West are really brainwashed to, like, follow authority. So I have to, I have to play this role a little bit. But in reality, we're all, we're all brothers and sisters in this mess we're in. Um, and and, and we're, all, we're all unified. We're all, we all need to be unified in trying to help everyone out of the mess you know we're we're 
no one can really be happy unless they help everyone else be happy too. So, uh, so we have a lot to do, and uh, I want you to start with 70 screams, 70 screams a day, and uh, as many of them as possible out in nature. And tell me, tell me that you don't have incredible kind of feeling of uh, letting go. But I have to warn you, of course, when you when you when you when you uh, uncork all these deep emotions stuck in you, obviously you're gonna go through a little bit of hell. And um, you know what they say: uh, uh, a little bit of a little bit of bitter, and then the sweet. Right, first the bitter, and then the sweet. That 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 reminds me of the famous thing they say in life coaching: that the, the best way to live is to get up every day and do the one thing you, 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 you need to do the most that you don't want to do the most. Do that thing first, and then it's just like the rest of the day is open. You don't have that hanging over you. Um, so, let's, so, so when in doubt, do the 70 screams, and uh, there's a lot more to say, but uh, I have to go take care of things in Jerusalem here. And uh, God bless everyone. Everyone should have a, have a good new year. Everyone who's not Jewish should have a good new year too. And um, I, really, I, I look forward to hearing to every, from everyone.